This is part 38 of ASP.NET Web API tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what is Accept Header and versioning a Web API service using the Accept Header. So what is Accept Header? The Accept Header tells the server in what file format the browser wants the data. These file formats are more commonly called as MIME types. MIME stands for Multipurpose Internet Mail Extensions. In part 5 of this video series, we have used this accept header to specify the format of data that we want from the server. For example, if we want the data from the server in XML format, we set the accept header to application for slash XML. So if we execute this request, notice we get the data in XML format. If you want the data in JSON format, we set the accept header to application for slash JSON and now we get the data in JSON format. So basically, we use this accept header to tell the server in what file format we want the data. In our previous video, we have created a custom header to implement versioning for our Web API service. Now, instead of creating a custom header just for versioning purpose, we can make use of this accept header. To this accept header, we can add additional parameters. We use these additional parameters to specify any data that we want to send to the server along with the request. For example, we can add an additional parameter called version to the accept header. And depending on this version parameter value, we select the controller that we want. So all that is left now to do is to read this version parameter value and then select the controller. So let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio now. This is the same example that we worked with in our previous video. Let's comment this piece of code that reads the version number from the custom header. Now let's create another variable here. Let's call it accept header. To read the accept header, we use the request object. Since the accept header is a standard header, notice we also have got accept property which is going to return us the accept header. Remember, just like any other header, users can specify this accept header multiple times in the request. So what we want to do is find all the accept headers that has got this parameter version. To do that, we're going to make use of links where method. So give me all accept headers where the accept headers parameters count is greater than zero. So what is this where method going to do? It's going to return us all the accept headers which has got at least one parameter, but that's not what we want. We want that parameter name to be version. So let's check if the parameter name is equal to version. And to make the name comparison case insensitive, let's convert the name to lowercase. So let's check if we have got at least one such accept header. If that's the case, what do we want to do? We want to retrieve the version parameter value and store it in this variable. So version number variable equals, we have got our accept header. So take the first accept header which has got a parameter with the name version and then look at its parameters look at the first parameter do a quick check if the parameter name is equal to version again let's convert that to lowercase and then we want that parameter value so at this point in this variable we should have the value that we have specified using this version parameter. So let's give our solution a build and quickly test with Fiddler. Notice at the moment we have set version number to 1. So when we execute this, we get version 1 student objects. If we set the version number to 2, we get version 2 student objects. If we remove the version parameter altogether, the service falls back to version 1 and we get version 1 student objects. And here is that code which we just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.